we needed PAs in this area. And the problem was, is that with Duke and with Wake Forest, people were attending from there, but the thing of it is they didn't stay in this area because they had never come from here. So I thought it was extremely important that we have here in this particular area um, an institution that would serve those needs and entice people to practice in this area once they graduate. And it took a little time to do it, but it worked. The main thing is we've developed the quality and we stay with the quality and, uh, and that's the most important thing, to be able to take care of patients because that's what it is, is to care for patients. I thank Dr. Hendricks because he is the one that allowed us to do what we did and he was tremendously supportive of it, as well as faculty here at Methodist. I do remember when uh, I said, Ron, uh, when we start our program, there, there are two things. Uh, first of all, we've got to have, you've got to admit only well-qualified students because uh, it, that's the secret of success is to begin with good students and to, uh, and to send them through a challenging program because then you will meet the f first test that I will apply and that is how do our students do on the national board? I didn't know what PAs were exactly, but I knew enough to know that uh, uh, there was a national qualification process through which one had to go. And so we started from day one thinking that uh, that was the uh, that would be the criteria by which we would by which I would evaluate our program. PA program has enhanced the reputation of the school. It's brought us uh, good students. It has helped focus the uh, uh, you know the purpose of uh, education is to prepare students to uh, provide to be of service to the society in which uh, they live. I, I think the Methodist University PA program, I don't think, I know, they have made a tremendous impact on the care of our community, uh, both in the ambulatory or outpatient setting and in the inpatient setting. You know, some of the recent statistics are mind-boggling. Uh, within the Cape Fear Valley Health System, we have several hundred physician assistants over 47% of them are Methodist University PA graduates. I was just sharing uh, right before I came over those statistics uh, with the CEO of the health system, uh, Mr. Mike Nagowski, and he is tremendously impressed with our graduates and their contribution to the care of people in our community. You know, initially our applicants were very local within the few counties surrounding Cumberland County. Now we have applicants from all over the country because of the quality of our program, the quality of the teaching, our human anatomy lab, or the quality of our faculty. Interaction with the students, that was the other big draw that, that keeps me here. So you know them by their names, you know, you know if they have kids, if they've got even you know, marital trouble. I mean, you just know so much about them that allows them to go through, which again makes it more personal and it becomes a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with each student to make sure one thing happens and that's for them to graduate here as the best healthcare professional that they can be. And we just want to give them a good strong foundation, um, which is you know, which, well, what we do here. We build the, we give them the, the foundation of all the axioms and the laws of medicine and we relate it to the clinical um, expertise that they're gonna to have to uh, you know, to demonstrate later on, and uh, they actually build their own superstructure, and they're phenomenal at it. When people ask you, you know, there's two ways to get to ask you, you know, where'd you go to school? It's either, where'd you go to school? Or, you know, where did you go to school? It's like, you say Methodist, they're like, oh, yes, oh, uh -huh. yeah, okay. And they know it. And time and time again, year after year, when we talk to the preceptors that the, the students go out to, they are so pleased because they're well prepared well prepared. So every year we receive over a thousand applications for just 40 seats. Um, once we get beyond the application then we look at selecting students for an interview and every year we interview close to around 100 people for the 40 seats in our alternate list. Um, no matter how good someone looks on paper 
It doesn't necessarily mean that they are guaranteed a seat in the program, and this is where the interview process is so important. Um, so during that interview process, we are looking to evaluate their true desire of why they want to be a PA, um, but we also um, evaluate their interpersonal skills, how they interact with someone, how they treat others when they're here, and really their compassion um, that they want to show their patients and their classmates and their instructors. So we take all those things very seriously through the application and interview process. Um, the unfortunate side of PA admissions is that we have more applications than seats, um, so we can't always interview who, everyone who is qualified to be in the program. So we look at uh, the pants pass rate in increments or five years. Um, so over the last five years, we have had um, a first time pass rate average of 98% versus the national average of 96%. And four out of the last five years, we've received 100% first time pass rate. So currently we have 624 alumni who have graduated from our program. 75% um, of them are practicing in North Carolina with many of them staying here in the Fayetteville area and surrounding counties. First of all, Methodist is amazing. The faculty is super amazing. They're super supportive. Um, just thinking about like the many times that I've like walked into my advisor's office, open door policy, I mean, to me, that's amazing. Um, not only are we talking about school, but you know, they genuinely want to know what's going on in my life. Um, I feel like we're getting prepared. They're truly gearing us up for the work field. I mean, the amount of credits that we're taking is uh, super high and it's like, oh man, how are we getting through it? But it's interesting as you're going through your classes, you're seeing that, man, I really am learning this stuff because the topics tend to overlap. And it's just great to know that my knowledge is being reinforced in other classes. Um, the class size for sure is something that stands out to me. We have a cohort of 40 students and I love that small classroom feel because not only am I getting close with the faculty members, but I'm also getting close to my classmates and everyone's been super supportive. And I consider them like my second family from home. And you know, we're going through a really tough um, academic process and we're getting geared up just, you know, to prepare to be clinicians. And so when you're in a stressful environment like that, it's great to have like a great niche of support um, and knowing that you can rely on your classmates too, so. We prepare our students in an excellent way um, for what they're going to encounter. And then they always have a steep uphill climb, a lot of on-the-job training afterwards, which is why it's important for us as faculty to make sure that we provide mentorship even after graduation and we get our, our alumni set up with other alumni and other providers that are going to help them learn and grow even after they leave here. I hope that we maintain that family atmosphere that I think makes us what we are. Uh, as we expand and grow and things become more technology focused, I think we have to be careful of that. But I think that the people that we have here uh, all feel the same way and are going to keep that in focus as well. So I hope that we maintain that. I think that is our secret sauce. I think that is what, what makes us us. Uh, but in addition to that, I think we're going to start seeing some of the fruits of our labors and our current initiatives now with implementing more simulation, um, both with clinical skills, but also history and physical exam skills. Uh, I think that we're gonna definitely be reaping the benefits of the diverse cohort that we have attracted, and we're going to see our local healthcare force change uh, and grow. And the fact that we retain more than 70% of our alumni in this region is very helpful for us because I think we're gonna grow an even stronger network of alumni who are going to come back and teach and, and precept. And uh, about the PA program, I'll say that it's impressed me that we attract students from all over the United States, and that's a real statement of the quality of the program. I know that we have more, way more applicants than we can possibly accept, which means that the applicants that we accept are the best of the best. Uh, and having a, a PA program with that kind of outstanding national reputation really speaks well for Methodist University. In terms of my feelings about Methodist University in the future, I think we're poised for continuing greatness. I mean, we'll continue to explore this balance of professional programs, um, our missional aspects that are related to the, you know, the spirituality and the faith-based part of who we are as a university and our liberal arts tradition. And I think when you put those three things together, 
you produce a really powerful educational package and you produce students who have learned in so many different ways. They are not only excellent professionals, but they're more critical thinkers. They communicate better. Uh, they're better problem solvers. So I, you know, I think that whole package is just a, a really uh, a unique thing and a powerful thing about Methodist University. Uh, the program means a great deal to me. Uh, my, again, um, the CEO I work with made a comment to me the other day. Uh, he said, Chris, what a legacy you're leaving or you have with the Methodist University PA program. And uh, I can't thank everyone enough. Uh, it means the world to me. But, uh, you know, and it's not about the money. Uh, you know, if you talk to anybody right here, it's not about money. It's not about, you know, fancy you know, regalia. It's about the students. And that's what makes us uh, who we are. And they, and they go out and demonstrate, probably unconsciously, um, you know, that you know, they're worth their weight in gold. Worth their weight in gold. You know, having been a part of the original PA program and, and seeing it flourish and develop over the years is certainly one of the things that I remember with, uh, with great joy. Methodist itself has been very much a home for me uh, and very much a family for me and provided uh, a lot of opportunities. So I think it's important for our alumni to know how important they are, how much we rely on them, and how thankful we are for their continued support um, in all sorts of different ways. Um, it's something that doesn't get recognized often enough or said often enough is, is um, thank you to them for not only being great healthcare providers, but also giving back to their profession.